Okay. Uh, came out here kind of tinkering on our camper, uh, getting ready for a camping trip next month. Uh, just kind of trying to do a little odd and end repair. Um, we went to slide the slides in and the slide out on the passenger side uh, was only moving on one side. Um, the side toward the back here was only moving, which is the side where the ram is. The side up toward the front, there between the wheels, it wasn't moving at all. So the side was going in, you know, crooked. So I uh, got to trying to think of what could be the problem. It's obvious the motor was working. So I came out here and I took, our camper has the Arctic pack, which has muzzle, sheets of metal that go across the bottom. And I took several of the screws out to drop the panel down right under where the ram is. And when I pulled it down, look what I found laying on the insulation, which ended up being the pieces of a bolt that was broken clean in half so I'm going to try to look up in here so you can get an idea I've already put another bolt in it and uh, but you can see right there you can see the roll pin is still in it but then you look over here on the crossbar, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the drive shaft. The shaft that goes all the way from one this end to the other end, the bolt was broke. So I aligned the slide out uh, by measuring and finally got it uh, to where it was perfectly in line and put another bolt in it and from what I understand you always use a grade 3 bolt uh, people think when this bolt breaks that uh, you put a heavier bolt in it to keep it from breaking well when you do that instead of the bolt being able to break that means that something else the next weakest part will fail and from what I understand, that can get very expensive. Uh, you could possibly damage the ram, the hydraulic ram. Uh, you could damage these gears. Um, there's just other parts that could be uh, damaged. Uh, and that would be a lot more expensive than a piece of, you know, bolt, nut and a bolt that are less than a dollar. So anyway it ended up being a simple fix and this is definitely something that I would recommend people to do at home because the last time I was at an RV dealership they charged a hundred and fifty five dollars an hour labor and that would be ridiculous to charge probably an hour to two hours labor to put a bolt in that was less than a dollar so uh, Anyway, like I say, all I had to do was just drop down this one side enough where I could get up in there and see. Uh, hopefully this will be a, uh, something that if you're having trouble with your slide where it's only sliding on one side, that this is probably the issue. Uh, I did find, unfortunately, that it looks like my cylinder has got a little bit of a drip. So... You can see on the end of the, the hydraulic ram here that the, it looks like it might be weeping a little bit. So I'm going to end up eventually having to pull that ram out and either have it rebuilt or replaced. And that's several hundred dollars if I replace it. But uh, anyway, um, I'm working on getting it lubed. Uh, I'm going to lube everything up as far as the gears, uh, the teeth. And what I did, I went to... Walmart and Walmart sells this. It's a three in one RV care slide out silicon lubricant. It's less than six dollars a can. Uh, it's got the nozzle so you can spray it direct or you can fold the nozzle down and it'll spray out kind of in a spray pattern here. Um, a lot of campers that I have seen online, they're 
mechanisms are outside the frame rail. Unfortunately, mine is inside the frame rail on both sides. Uh, there's the mechanism. I don't know how good it's showing up on the video, but there's the mechanism for the other slide out on the other side of the camper. But I'm going to try my best to get in here and try to get everything lubricated. The hole uh, through the frame rail is not very big. So I'm hoping that the nozzle will help me direct it where I can get it to the gear mechanism and get it sprayed uh, to keep everything lubricated because you sure don't want that to happen. Uh, if that had happened at the campground, uh, that could have been a uh, really major problem trying to get it fixed. But anyway, uh, that's what I understand that this particular mechanism here, just for reference, they call it a rack and pin. Not rack and pinion as on the car, but a rack and pin mechanism. Uh, and uh, they say it's not even that hard to change a gear, but you have to raise the slide up and get the pressure off of it somehow uh, with jacks. But you sure don't want none of that to rip out. So always replace this bolt with a grade three, just a light duty bolt. Don't put a five or an eight because if you do, then that means the bolt, which is sort of like a fuse, there's the weakest point, uh, it, it's supposed to break. And if you put a grade eight bolt in it, the bolt's not gonna break. It's gonna break something else in this gear. Um, uh, problem, possibly break teeth off of this this track here and those teeth are that whole teeth track is welded to the bottom of that so you sure don't want to strip any teeth off of that so uh, uh, anyway uh, I've already put a bolt back in here got the slide uh, you want to make sure if you put the bolt in and you slide your slide all the way in and you've got a little bit of a gap then you're off and what you can do is take an adjustable wrench and adjust that square bar, uh, have somebody stand outside and measure it, uh, and get the measurement exactly the same on the front and the back, and then put the bolt in. Uh, mine went in pretty easy, so um, just thank God it wasn't nothing more major than that, but uh, try to keep your maintenance up, because I tell you, if you ever start having problems, and especially if you're camping there, that could be a real headache. So, I uh, hope this helps somebody. God bless and uh, happy camping.